Holy Father, Heavenly King, Lord of all creation, we come before you together, united in Christ, united in love, united by your Holy Spirit, your Holy Presence. We come with ears to hear, hearts to know and understand your words, your wisdom, your truth upon our lives this day. We come as willing vessels, ready to receive your love, the outpouring of your spirit, your blessings, your anointing, so that we can go forth into a lost and broken world and release your love and presence and glory, your words of truth, We wish to be your hands and feet this day, willing ambassadors for Christ, witnesses in the world for our God. We are servants of Christ our Lord. We humble ourselves before you, wanting to be used by you, to give our whole heart and soul to you. Use us this day, Heavenly Father, Use us for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessed children in the world, this is your Father in heaven speaking with you now. The I am of all creation, creator of your soul. I come to you this day through this willing vessel my maidservant on the earth. I'm declaring my words to the nations, my truths, my heart of love for all people in the world at this time. This is my last and final message, my children. Receive it now. I am speaking through these servants. Allah and will continue Kashiket until the message is complete. Lahoravas, these are my two servants, Karahashiketir with the wind in their wings. Kashakatokohorabasik, they stand before me in spirit and truth, in worship. They have been trained, prepared, equipped to release this message unto you now. They have written over 2.2 million words for my glory. Words which are now being released unto the nations. Find these words and listen to them, my children. They are words for your soul, words for your edification, words for my Holy Spirit, for your world today. Do not dismiss these words as nonsense, my children. Listen, listen with the ears of your spirit. See with your spiritual eyes. Feel my love, my presence, my tangible presence, my peace, my glory. I need to release my words as prophesied. I need to speak to the nations through willing vessels, those who hear my voice, those who believe. These two come before me night and day, they stand in my presence, they have devoted their entire life to my will. I choose them now to release this message for you. I love you, my children. And I give unto you my my spirit, my holy presence this day, so that you can go forth into the nations declaring the good news of the gospel, the gospel concerning my son, your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, his death, his resurrection, his power, his glory. 
Rabatora basi ke nehana hashi ke te kapatora batora bati. I am pouring forth my spirit across the earth this day. I am pouring forth my glory. Those who have an ear to hear, a heart to receive, eyes to see, willing vessels will be filled full to overflowing so that you can release my peace into the nations, my love, my truth, my words. Come before me this day, my child. Stand in the presence of your God. Stand before me in worship and allow me to fill you with my Holy Spirit. If you have not been born again, my child, come before me now. Bend your knee. Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and you will be filled. You will be filled full to overflowing with my joy, my spirit. You will come alive, your spirit will soar. You will be free for the first time on your earth. This is my will for creation, my children. This is my will since the beginning of time for humanity to enter into a relationship with their creator. I have created you to walk with me in the cool of the day, to hear my voice, to have a relationship with me. But because of sin, so many Tarahashiki do not hear my voice. So many do not believe. So many have never walked one day in their life with me. So much doubt, so much confusion, so much angst and chaos. I am a God of peace, my children, a God of love, a God of order, divine order, divine favour, divine blessings. Enter into my order, my children, this day. Korabashikitiya through my Holy Spirit. By being born again, receiving my Spirit, you enter into my order, my divine will for your life. If you have not been born again, you are walking in your own will. The devil can torment you, the devil has access to your life. He seeks to destroy you, my children. He comes to rob and kill and destroy your soul. And he will take you to the pits of darkness. For your unbelief, your arrogance, your pride. You will be separated from me at life's end if you do not receive my Holy Son, your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, the darling of heaven, the one who came and died and rose again for your sin, for your healing, for your salvation, your redemption, your reconciliation with me. He was the sacrificial lamb. He came to take the sins of the world, to carry your burdens. He came for you, for your soul, your eternal soul. My child, I want you to get a revelation this day about eternity. That your soul is eternal. Death is an illusion to your soul. Your soul does not die, only the physical flesh. The seed must die so that it can be born anew, born into glory, born into paradise with me. The only way for this seed to have new life is if you, Karahashikiti, are born again, if you are connected to me, connected to the vine, the water of life, my food for your soul, the tangible presence of my Holy Spirit within. Karahashikiti, I am crying out to every nation, tribe and tongue. Bow your knee this day. Bow your knee before the Saviour. Karahashikinahalaharahadhiyelaharasi. Let him, Karahashi, come. 
Kashikiti yake ya hashikiti kiri ya hashikiri. Follow him. Follow his words of truth. Kina botora bashi ya kiri ya iru set you free, my children. You will go from darkness into light. You will walk through the veil that separated you once from me, into my glory, into my presence. And we will enter into a relationship, a relationship a relationship I have been longing for since the day of your birth. Lift your eyes towards heaven this day. Kokokara be free through the blood of the Lamb. Lorobotorobahashiki be washed white as snow. And do not sin again. Willfully sin in my sight. Haleriyanakashikitikiya lay down all the things you are doing against my will. Kopatarasi read my holy Bible, for in my holy Bible, Karayanakashikitiki it will explain what is right and wrong in my sight. It is where I speak to you, my children. It has my plans, my purposes for humanity. It is my story. And you will understand the will of God. Why I needed to send my son unto the earth. Why he came. The earth was blind. Kashikiyana sin was rampant. There was no hope and future. But he has made a way. By his blood, his death and resurrection, Kahashiki has broken the chains of sin which bind you. Bow your knee this day. Kopatarabashikiri confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Kanahanahachikiribahiyalahara for my glory. Kashikitiri hashaka the glory of your Father. Kopotarabasiki anahashikiti yahalaharayanakati. This is Koha my words to the nations for such a time as this. The days are growing darker and will only grow more dark. Kahashikitiri hashikiti hahashik hearts will grow darker. Korabotarabasibi must be filled with my light. Kanaharashikiri yakarabotarabasi. Lahashiki my glory, my presence, my words. I will protect you, my children. I will heal you of all disease. You will not run in fear. You will stand firm in my truth, in my words, in my spirit. I wish to gather my children, holy believers, globally, stand united in Christ your Lord. It does not matter what denomination you are, Pashikiti, no more divide. You are one in Christ. Karahashikitiriya, if you are filled with my Holy Spirit, if you have been baptized, born again, you are one, one family. Lord Abotara, no more denominations, my children, no more separation, no more arguing and bickering. Haha, about my holy words, Karahashikiti, fighting amongst yourselves. A kingdom divided cannot stand. This is a applicable to my kingdom and Satan's kingdom. A kingdom divided cannot stand. Why are my believers so divided at this time? Arguing about this and that. If you are filled with my Holy Spirit, you will have peace with my words. Peace with my truth. You will not need to argue. You will be all on the same page with me. Korabashi nenia, no more arguing about my words. Parohorabasi kiriana hashikiti, no more speculation about the end times, about the rapture. This is vain imaginations, my children. You do not know the day or the hour of my son's return. Larabatara has so much false prophecy, imagination, speculation, divination. 
be careful, Pashi, my children. Lediana Hashikiti, stand before me in spirit and truth, in worship, in devotion and dedication. I love you, my children. Haleria Noko, you must be different, different in the world this day. Haleria Nahash, your motives must be pure if you are to release my messages in these end times. Willing vessels, giving their whole heart and soul unto me, separating unto me, trusting me for your provision, not the world. Unite my children this day under the one banner, Jesus Christ. He is the head. He is the head of the church. Kakashiki, one body. Godohorabashiki, you are not separate denominations, you are one body in Christ. Denominations mean nothing in my kingdom. Allah Horabasiki Nahashi separating Kahashiki Christians amongst Christians. Oh, my children, Haleriyaha, how far you have fallen, thinking your religion is better than another, your denomination. You must unite as one. You must be servants of Christ, and this is all. Humble yourselves, my children. You are wearing holy robes. Karahashi, you are calling yourselves Father. Poshiki, I am your Father. Is it not written in my Holy Bible that you must not call yourself Father? What part of this message do you not understand? Yet there are so many in the world calling themselves Father. I am your Father and I am the only Father. Lohorabashi kiakorabashi, your God. Korobashi ahashi enough is enough, my children. You are being disobedient in every way. Olohora Yahashiki, every person is equal in my sight. There is no priest, no reverend, no minister greater than another. You are simply willing servants on the earth for me. Lorobotoro Hashiki, those who are least will become the greatest in my kingdom. Remember this, my children. Yakash, you are no different to the Pharisees, the Sadducees, in your holy robes in your holy seat, amongst the congregation. I see your hearts, my children. I see the pride you have in sitting up the front row of every church. You enter, Pashakiti, in your holy robes. Kokokotarahas, as if, Hahashikit, you are closer to me. Lady Anokoto, I would prefer to sit with the lady, the widow, up the back row, the homeless and the broken. The one who gives their last dollar. Who is not asking for anything. Who gets up in the early hours and prays with no one knowing. No one seeing. The one who loves me, who prays unto me without ceasing. This is who I would prefer to be with my children, the one that humble, the lowly, those who give their lives to me without a single person knowing. Be careful of vanity within my church walls. You are no greater than anyone else. Confess and repent this day. Every child is welcome to take communion whether it be in their homes, in a church, outside. For it is not about Tahashikiti taking it by a holy priest. It is about the communion of Karahashikiti, your soul between me and you, the communion between God and man and the forgiveness of sin. And if you do this in the privacy of your own home, this means more to me than if you are showing off in front of a congregation. There is no one greater than another, no one more worthy to give communion on Karahashi the earth. 
I see the widow, I see the humble, I see the lost and the broken, the homeless, the destitute, those who take communion and mean it with all of their heart and soul, those who are so desperate for forgiveness, those who love my son with all of their heart, mind, soul and strength, who are not doing it for money, for fame, for glory, to walk the streets in your holy robes and be seen by man. I see the hearts of all my children. I see what you are doing with the money you receive in the church and why, Karahashiki, you do the things you do. I see you, Akashikichi Ikirahala, in the early hours of the morning worrying about money at this time. I have taken many out of the churches so that they can come before me in their own homes, in prayer, in silence. To be still and know that I am their God, their creator. I want a relationship with you, my children, one on one. Not through any minister in the world, not through any reverend. Lydia, you must come to me now in these last days on your own. You know, Mahashi, you must read the word of God on your own. Do not rely on another person to read it for you. You must pray to me on your own. You, know, you do not need to ask for another to pray for you, my children, for a minister to pray for you when you can pray on your own to me, when you can come to me in prayer on your knees and pray and speak to me and I will hear your prayer. You do not need to ask for another to pray for you, my child, when I am here. I am asking my children if you see someone who is ill, too weak to pray, then I ask that you pray for them. I ask that you lay hands on them and believe for healing for them. I ask that you stand in the gap for those who do not know me, those who do not know how to pray, those who do not know my words. But if you do know my words, if you are born again, then you must learn to stand before me in your own strength, my children. Do not rely on another single soul, for when you come before me in judgment, you will stand before me on your own. Your minister then will not to be able to save you. You will be accountable for everything you have done on the earth. Therefore, learn to stand before me this day in spirit and truth, in prayer, in devotion. Confess your sins this day in the mighty name of Jesus and turn from your wicked ways. Do not rely on a minister. Kashiki, you do not need to confess your sins to any reverend on the earth. Confess them to me. I am your God. Lady Beltorahash, my ministers are there to preach the word, to teach you, to pray for you when needed. If you need prayer, Allah, this is okay, my children. But you must pray unto me. You must learn to pray unto me by yourself. Do not burden your ministers over and over again, calling out to them, burdening them for them to pray for you when you are very much able to pray for yourself. And I will hear from you. Their prayers do not hold any more weight in my kingdom than yours. Lord Abashiki, they are no more closer to me than you if you have been born again, if you have been filled with my Holy Spirit. I hear your prayers just as much as I hear the prayers of Karahashiki, the ministers in the world, the reverends, the pastors. Do not call yourselves any titles, my children. Be humble. 
Do not pray unto the saints. Do not pray unto Mary. Pray only unto me through my Holy Son, Jesus Christ. I am the one who answers prayers. I am the Eternal One. My children, my church has wandered so far off the track. And it has so much so that you believe all you are teaching. You are not questioning why you do the things you do. You simply accept. Like sheep, you follow generations after generations. Now is not the time to be a follower after false theology and false teachings. There is nowhere in my Holy Bible that says you must pray unto Mary. But you must give her your whole attention, putting your faith and trust in her. There is nowhere in my Holy Bible that says this yet so many of you believe and receive the words the false doctrine of man I am your healer I am your deliverer Jesus Christ is your salvation through my blessed spirit I come and make my home within you Bow your knee before me, your Father in heaven. Respect my ministers in the world, those chosen to teach my holy words. They are servants of Christ, if their motives are pure. If they are not doing all they are doing, Karahashi, in my name, for money, for wealth for pride, for vanity. Take off your holy robes this day, my children, lay them down. Lady Botoro, do not sit up in the best seat of the house. Be humble, be servants of Christ. You must become least in the kingdom. My servants, servants of Christ. Oh, my children, how far you have fallen. My church has gone into kara disarray. Allah, the world has seeped in. My children, I see. I see why you worship. I see why karahashi you are doing what you do. Many halaha shakata are singing praising my name, but their hearts are far from me. Kokotarahi doing it for the glory, for vanity, to be seen on television. Kokotarabasi, where is my altar? Where is the altar in my church? It has been replaced with a stage. Where is your reverence? You have turned my church into a rock concert. And you are making millions and millions of dollars. Through worship. My beautiful servants of old, King David. He did not worship for money. He did not sell albums for profit. His church worshipped 24 hours a day. Not for money. Not to be seen. Thousands of people coming together to praise my name because they love me. Giving up time. Koshana Hashikitiki to worship me, to praise me. Oh, how beautiful were their hearts and souls. I need Ahakara worshippers who are pure in heart. No hidden agendas. 
Ora hashiki tika na hashiki tiki yaha bow kare yokare shiki before me this day on your face, my children. Repent. Repent for vanity, false motives, hidden agendas, why you are doing the things you are doing. My ministers, Kadahesh, what is your motive to be a minister? Is it the free home you get? Is it the money? just for teaching my word is it the holy robes you have to wear is it the power you receive when you do communion is it the way the people look at you adore you what is your motive to being a minister my children is it me or is it the glory? The devotion. People give you. I want you to evaluate your heart this day, my children. I want you to search deep within your soul. Why do you do the things that you do? Repent and be saved this day, my children. Repent and confess. Allah has your hidden motives, the reason you are Kariya Shikiti Raha Shikiti Kokoraba Shikiti Raha Shikara doing what you do in my holy church. Allah, my ministers, are you pushing your worship bands to release more music so that you receive more money? Kodahara Shikiti Yukara, are you perhaps burning out your worshippers? You're sending them on tours. Is it for my glory or is it for financial security for your church? Are the songs truly written for me or just to complete an album? My children. This is a hard word for you to hear this day, I know. Allah and you will justify many things. But I need you to meditate upon this word. I need you to search your soul. For it is better to search your soul now than on the other side when you face me in judgment. When I confront you with your heart, kashi motives. What or by shikiri, why you kept so much money for yourself, for your family. For your big homes and cars. Blessed are those who as you come before me, humble in heart, contrite in spirit. Allah Hashi, the money will be given to you in Hashikitikara ways you never imagined possible. If you serve the poor, the broken, the homeless, the destitute. I will provide your needs according to my riches in glory. Kashakato, do not ask, do not beg for money from the world. Come before me this day, my children, bow your knee, confess that Jesus Christ is your Lord. Bow before him. I do not want the world to bow before you any more, my ministers in the world. Allah, you are not God. You are not Jesus Christ. You are not the saviour of the world. You cannot forgive sins. You have no power to forgive sins. Only I have the power. Jesus Christ, your Lord and saviour. My blessed Holy Spirit. Kopatara Hashiki, do not take this power as if it were your own. You did not die on the cross. You are simply servants, willing vessels to teach my children my words. Kopatara Hashiki, pray for the nations. Come into your prayer closet and pray unto me, and I will hear from heaven. Pray for your congregation. Those under your care, those who I have blessed you with, to watch over. 
the sheep of my flock, my children. They are not the sheep of your flock. Allah hasha kato how the hearts of man have gone astray. Kashikiti in my holy church. My children, I need my church to come under the one banner of Jesus Christ. Kopotorabasiki are his word. Patarahasiki ahashikiti he is your high priest. The only high priest. Kashikatogarabasi yakarahashikiti ahashikiti. You are all equal in my sight. You are all born again by my spirit. Kashikatogar if you have received Jesus Christ as your high priest. Give Mary no more karahashikiti honor on the earth. Larabasagarabasi, she is Sahashika, the mother of my child, the physical the vessel through which my child was born. But she cannot forgive your sins. Allah, she does not have any power to save you or to heal you. Larahashikiti, the karahashikiti, your kara prayers are void. Kashikiti, if you are praying karahashikiti to Mary. Pray unto me through my holy son Jesus Christ. Kapaparehishikiti, bow your knee before him, the holy lamb who was slain. Kothiyahashik, the saints are no different to you. Kahashikiti, kiyahashikiti, yahara, you are all saints if you receive my son. The saints cannot heal you. God, but they cannot forgive your sins. They are not leading and guiding you. They have returned unto paradise and they are karahashiki with me. Kopotorabasiya do not give power kashikiti to their name. There is only one name with all power and that is the name of Jesus Christ. There is only one name by which every knee should bow and tongue confess and that is Jesus Christ your Lord. Enough is enough my children. Potarabasiki enough is enough. You have given glory and power to man long enough in my holy church. Potarashi turn your eyes towards Jesus Christ this day. Turn your eyes towards heaven, towards me. Confess that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Saviour and repent. Repent. Kashakatathara for idolizing man. For lifting man upon a pedestal. For giving man glory, power, praise, adoration, worshipping man, worshipping your minister, worshipping your prayer team, your worship team. Smash down hala your okarabashi stages, my children, and uh, she could replace it with an altar. Pahashikitika hashiki my altar. Kopotora look at David's church. Hala hashikitiki ya hashikiti. Kopotora basiki ya hashikiti. Hala hara hashikiti. You are temples of the Holy Spirit. I live and dwell within you. But when you gather in my holy church together, do not come and we lift your arms, Karahashi before a Hakadishikiti, a worship band, a worship leader, a minister. Lift your arms, your hands in praise towards me at my altar. Bow before my altar. Take Yahashiki, take communion at my holy altar. Kokodeana Shikitiki Yahashikitiki Yahashikiti. Allah Harabatora, my church, come together, Kariyahashi united, one in Christ. My children, I am asking you to come before me this day, to bow before me in the secret place, to give no Karabashi glory to no other but me. Come before your God in spirit and in truth, in worship. Take Holy Communion by yourself, my children. Take the bread and the wine. Remember Jesus. You do not need no other man to give it to you. These are my holy sacraments, the body and blood of Christ given for you. 
Come to me in the secret place and take holy communion. Alaharaha shikitiki, where no one else is watching, for I see your heart of devotion. I see you. I see you giving your life unto me. Alaharaha I see your confession. I see you repenting of your sins and wanting to be forgiven. Take communion and remember my son. Remember his death and resurrection. Remember his suffering and pain for your salvation. Remember him. Come to me this day in the secret place. Worship me in the secret place. Stand before me, my children, your God, lover of your soul, forgiver of your sins. Kopatar, put me in my rightful place this day, my children. Anything that has exalted itself above the name of your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, smash it down. If you are worshipping your minister, your worship team, worship leaders, if you are worshipping them and you have forgotten your God, confess, repent and turn. Turn your eyes towards Jesus. It is okay to worship my children, but your heart must be in the right place. Are you standing in the front row of your church with arms lifted high so that you can be seen by man? So that your minister can see you, so that the worship team can see you? Check your heart this day, my children. Check your heart before me. Your hidden motives, the reason you do the things you do. To become closer to your pastor to have their full attention. Lay it all down this day, why you do the things you do. I love you this day, my children. Receive this word unto your spirit now. Listen to it over and over again. Let it seep into your soul, my words. By my spirit, hear the message that is karaha for you. Listen, la hashiki ya hashiki tiri karabasi. By your karaha spirit, listen to the words, the message that is for you in this word. All I need you to hear. Kapatara hashiki tiya. I am kara a gentle God, a God of love, a God of mercy and grace. But I need my church to turn back towards me. Koro, you have been caught up in the world, in social media, in Karahashikiti, a frenzy for more money. Tarahashikiti, Yahashikiti, lay down all vanity this day, all pride. Lahashik, humble yourself before Jesus, lay at his feet. And I will lift you up on the last day, and I will carry you into paradise. And you will receive a crown of glory. For I long for you, I long for your heart. I do not want your eyes turned towards another. I am a jealous God. I do not want you praying unto Mary. I do not want you praying unto the saints. I do not want you confessing your sins to a minister. I want you, my children. I want you to bow your knee before me, to tell me of your sins personally. I love you this day, my children. Come to me now. Forever your Lord, forever your Saviour, forever your God. Walk through the veil that Jesus Christ tore for you into my glory, into my presence, into my heart. I want all of you this day.
in Jesus' name. Amen.